okay so when it comes to quality of service on the top on the whiteboard you can see i have drawn the user plane in lte and you can see the data is coming from the internet pgw sgw e not b and finally to the ue question can be asked what are the challenges or challenges you can face in order to maintain quality of service in lte now you may be familiar with the eps bearer concept and that concept is logical however i'm going to draw this diagram once again and then i will explain to you uh, what quality of service challenges can be faced in lte or are faced and you need to maintain in order to maintain quality of service so let's redraw this diagram and expand it further into more from the perspective how uh, these connections actually take place so what you see on the top in the diagram uh, you can see i have drawn user plane and at the bottom i have drawn the same diagram but somewhat of more realistic connection setup how it will take place in the field the question is how quality of service is maintained or what are the challenges to maintain quality of service when it comes to lte so even though over here in the diagram you can see it's shown just as one straight line but in reality when it comes to quality of service maintenance over here you have to maintain quality of service at the air interface or wireless medium this is a router this is metro ethernet and then this is again transport network over here and then again connection to the other node even though we have the concept of eps bearer but in order to maintain quality of service on lte what do you need to make sure is you need to make sure the way you maintain quality of service on wireless medium that should map to the way quality of service is maintained on the ethernet and that should be mapped to the way how quality of service is maintained on the transport network and that should map to whatever qci value you are using meaning there should be a harmony in all these different mediums through which your data is coming through and in order to make sure that the priority of a certain data which you are sending remains same throughout the whole mediums it is passing through this is where the challenge of quality of service maintenance comes in so mapping of your qci value to transport network and to transport network to ethernet and ethernet to wireless medium for example on transport network your data may travel as ip so in ip header the field which is used to maintain quality of service is dscp so that dscp value should be mapped to the way data is given priority on ethernet which is pbit so pbit needs to be mapped and the way priority is given on the wireless medium that should be mapped here accordingly mapping all those values with the same priority will make sure that the harmony exists and if you have a high priority data coming in that will be treated the same way throughout the whole medium or throughout all different mediums while it is passing through or being received at the ue so the idea of uh, sharing this particular presentation or this diagram with you was so in case if someone asks what are the challenges or possible challenges you do see when it comes to quality of service maintenance in LTE. So this is the answer you have to make sure that all the values have the same mapping at least for uh, data which does require same priority for best effort service or non guaranteed bit rate it does not matter uh, best effort service will work the same way your any other best effort service will work even if the mappings are not done accordingly so that was about quality of service maintenance in lte thank you